This is going to be your first opportunity to see an outer join. This is going to be actually easier than you think to understand because they're just like inner joins with just a little bit of difference in there. Now, look at what we're doing. We're selecting the first name from the employee table. That's the only column from the employee table we're getting in the select list. And we're selecting the department name from the department table. I want you to know that. And then you're going to see the from clause. It says from employee table as E. That's the first table mentioned after the from clause. When the system sees then left outer join, it says, oh, a left outer join? What about a right outer join or full outer join? I go, no, this is a left outer join. And they go, okay. Which table's the left, the employee table or the department table? Well, the left table is always the first table mentioned after the from clause. It's going to be called the outer table. So what that really means is, is when we do the left outer join, we're going to take, just like an inner join, and bring back all the matches between the employee table and the department table on E dot depno equals D dot depno, and those matches come back, and then the system says, hey, listen, there were two rows from that left table, that outer table, employee table, didn't have a match. I mean, Squiggy Jones and Richard Smythe, I didn't have a match for those rows. And I go, great. Bring back their first name, as I've asked you to do in the select list. So I want to see Squiggy, and I want to see Richard. And then on the report, you put nulls in for anything they asked for from the right table or the department table. And now I know, I see all my matches, and when I see a couple of nulls, I go, oh, Richard and Squiggy, they didn't have a match. That's a left outer join. Take a look at the report. I've got a red and blue arrow here for you so you can see exactly the outer join query of the rows that didn't have a match. We've got all the first names. We've got all the department names where department number equal department number. So all the matches came back. But in our left outer join, since the employee table was the first table mentioned, that's the left table. And now you're going to see that Squiggy and Richard didn't have matches, so they couldn't put anything in the department name, so they put null values. This lesson brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Need a query tool that makes joins easy? The Nexus has a join builder that turns the most complex joins into child's play. The Nexus Query Chameleon, making connections easy again. Visit coughingdw.com for more information. Hi, this is Tom Coughing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.